the plane. Alright, we're about to be off, making our way to France. We will touch down and talk to you guys when we get there. The sun is up. So pretty. We've landed. A little bit of the airport. So guys, we made it to Paris, France. Right now we're actually at the Sheraton Hotel that is connected to the airport. Let me show you. So like the airport literally is right out there. We're just chilling, gonna grab some breakfast and stuff. I'm looking kinda rough with my travel, travel clothes and my travel hat. the entryway to our home that we're staying in. This is our little table that we're gonna eat some stuff at. And this is how you enter. My bag was 66 pounds, <laughs> so I had to get rid of 16 pounds. Dad, isn't that a lot of stuff? Which is ridiculous. Drinking wine, FaceTiming oh, my dad. Bring me, bring, me, bring me back one dollar, one euro. Okay. Hey guys, we are in a taxi cab on our way to Activity Long headquarters, um, where we're gonna film a video, a DIY video with the brand. I'm really, really excited. I have my sis Vaughn with me. Um, my hair today, didn't quite work out for my big twist out that I usually do because the weather's so humid here. But I went ahead and pinned it up on the side. Hello again. We just left the offices of Activity Long, Vaughn and I. She's over there eating macaroons. And we had the most amazing time. Like the staff there, they're so sweet. Everyone's like beautiful and they just, we just had such a good time. It was a very easy. We filmed um, a few styles, a tutorial on twist outs and a protective style, which was really, really fun to do. And um, now we're on our way to the venue, um, the same venue that the NHA is gonna be held at tomorrow. Um, and we're doing like a blogger kind of event, like a blogging, a blogger panel, and we'll like be able to chit chat a little bit. So that's gonna be really, really fun. Um, and then I wasn't able to take most of what Paris looked like so far. So here's an example. It kind of reminds me a little bit of New York. Everyone has a motorcycle. Like everybody has like a moped or a motorcycle. But there's so many shops and beautiful stores and everyone's just out shopping and eating and moving. Um, which kind of reminds me of like the, the post of New York, if you will. Which is really fun. I'm just really excited about that. So I'll be coming back showing some more stuff with you guys. We're in a taxi cab right now. I'm gonna put this camera back in this car before I make it fall. Yeah, and look at that peplum that she has on. It's so cute. I, you can't really see the color fully because of the red light, but she is so fly. And I wanted to show her hair, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. Do a little spin, girl. Absolutely ridiculous. Who did your hair? It's in Atlanta, right? Yes, Furious Styles, Fonda Johnson in Atlanta. Oh Kennesaw. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Girls, 
avec Tony Marcel, les secrets de Tony. Do you have to translate that? <laughs> well, tonight, uh, the main um, aim or target of this curl and discussion is to talk about all of the subjects that we usually come across when we go natural. Bonjour. Now that I've traveled all over the world and I've seen what the naturals go through, they share their stories. And um, there's a lot of misconception about being a natural. So because of it, I'm going to get a lot of looks. Now, the best thing I've done when you are going natural or you are natural, and I see that you Every year I come here, I see more women that are confident about being natural. And that's the main thing. When I first went natural, a lot of my friends and family and people just around me wondered why I cut my hair off. Like, what's wrong with me? Why is your hair so short? Why does it look like that? Um, but since I've been growing my hair out and rocking my natural hair and being confident, I've actually inspired a lot of my friends to go natural since then. So I think I definitely agree with Felicia that being confident really does help um, at my work, um, you know, dating. It hasn't been affected by me being natural because I carry myself in a certain way and I tell the world how they should treat me based on how I treat myself. Um, when I first went natural, I would say um, my biggest challenges were just getting to know my natural hair texture all over again. And when I say getting to learn it all over again, I mean, Learning how to work with it, learning how it behaves, knowing what to do to create different looks. This is actually decent lighting. So we have Libria in the car, and Vaughn, and we're really excited. We're about to do our presentation four times at the NHA, and um, I'll show you guys some footage of that. today all the way from Chicago, Illinois in the USA. So we traveled a very long way to come and be with you guys today. We are so excited to be here. It's our first time in Paris and we just thank you guys for having us. We're all the way from across the pond and we're just excited to see so many beautiful natural women in one space. This is completely amazing. It's super nice to see jeunes femmes ravissantes comme vous qui ont des cheveux naturels ça fait beaucoup de jeunes femmes qui ont des cheveux naturels dans un même endroit One of our favorite ways to make sure that our hair is moisturized is using the Hutiful hair steamer How many of you guys have heard of the Hutiful hair steamer Combien d'entre vous connaissent le masque à vapeur de Hutiful Okay the Hutiful hair steamer That's a lot How many of you guys have used a Hutiful hair steamer Combien d'entre vous ont utilisé le masque à vapeur de Hutiful we use our cuticle every single time we shampoo our hair, we condition it, and we sit under the cuticle, and it is really good for a few different things, and we'll explain. So, jeez, I'm very hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at the NHA and just finished a few presentations. I'm gonna give you guys a look at what this looks like. You can hear it's kind of loud. Um, it's really, really nice. There are a ton of people here. An insane amount of people, all beautiful black women learning about hair, learning how to take care of their texture in this beautiful, amazingly beautiful space. This is sick. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at the Natalisa's walking in. <laughs> There's like so many levels and this beautiful. Thing. It was so much fun. Really, really good. The crowd so amazing and like so nice and so patient with our English and our little bit of French that we spoke so it was really a, a great experience for real. And now we're about to go get something to eat I think and we have two more presentations left. Picture taking is our beautiful translator. She's amazing with the French and English. Tell everybody your name and stuff. My name is Isabel, so I was here to translate the beautiful Monroe sisters in France, Paris. It was just amazing. The job they did was great. La vie est belle. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I'm filming. Oh. Hey. I love it. She was
Alors, il est très important que, euh, que vous compreniez euh, en quoi sont liés. This is my team from Chicago. Uh, we're a natural hair salon. We also have a salon in Atlanta. And um, in March, we serviced over 600 clients um, in those two cities. And the good thing about servicing so many clients is that we're able to get information and put out education to those clients. So clients can learn from us and we learn from them, working with a variety of hair types and textures. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. He's telling us what his favorite music is. Okay. Oh. Uh, Quincy, Qu uh, by the way, this is our friend Quincy. Hi, how you doing? Say hi. Hello, right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Quincy. Well, um, yeah, uh, All in Dutch, all in Dutch. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm Quincy. I'm from Nederland. 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 I'm Feestje bouwen. Oui, oui. Mooi, mooi, oui, oui. All right. Well, anyway, Quincy's cool. He lived in Texas or Phoenix? Phoenix. Phoenix for, for some years in, in the States. Yeah. So he's a little bit of, um, he's very, very well cultured. He's been all over. So we're walking. I can't show myself because it's major shadows, but I can show Quincy. I got you. That's right. no, good now. Wait, wait, wait. This has an autofocus. Bonjour. Bonjour. Madame Bonjour. So, um, oh, so, it's a lot of people. So, where, where are we walking again? We're walking to yeah. have some fun. <laughs> I won't say where we're going, but we're out and about. We just finished brunch. We've had great food, great mimosas, and I'm with my big sis. <laughs> and we're just hanging out, walking and exploring Paris. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Uh oh, don't He's like, um, no. <laughs> um, okay, let me get the euros out. Bon is trying you to figure a, out the whole euro situation here. You got coin <laughs> you? Can I just say that I'm having the most amazing time of my life? Not to mention that I am in a totally different country, a totally different place, but Paris is so, um, Absolutely amazing. If people are walking past, like, what the hell is she doing? But we're having so much fun. The weather here is like absolutely perfect. It has to be like 60 ish right now um, as the French ladies walk past. Um, but just having such an amazing time. And we are right in front of where we're staying. So that door, the black door over there, is where we are living while we're in Paris right now. Um, say something cool in Dutch. Like, what? Uh, say I love, um, I love to listen to hip-hop music, mm -hmm. I love American, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay, I hou van uh, hip-hop music, I hou van America, I heb er gewoond, and uh, yeah, I hou van Parijs, Parijs is mooi. He's cute, isn't he, guys? Yeah, it's time for a so picture cute. with me and you. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, street dancing in Paris. They they were playing they were playing Biggie oh Happy Happy is in America Happy jam. is huge over here. Where is is huge worldwide? I would say so. It's yeah. huge. Uh, we are so skyping I, our I little sister see, Alex. Uh, I'll help you see. Uh, I look uh, white red. red. Uh, <laughs> that's how they talk. When are you guys gonna go? So see what day is this? What day is this? This is our fourth day. And this is this is our third so, day, fourth day here. We miss our family quite a bit and so we're skyping our little sister Alex that is Alex are you at my house or Vaughn's house it looks like my wall yeah she's in your bed we're skyping Alex she's actually standing in my house she's house sitting for me and let's go check out the dogs Sophie hi Sophie what's up Dovey hi Sophie hey you Dovey hi Sophie hey you Dovey hi hey you Dovey Sophie like where's my mono here's mono 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 Your face. Hey, Mano. Hey, do Mama. Me and Mano have been having a good time. Sophie just got over oh. here yesterday. 
But she. Sophie um, caught the bus over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie took the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie took the bus. Hey, we are on our way into. I don't know where we're going, but we're hitting some stores today. And we're about to take the train, which is really fun because I definitely wanted to do that before leaving. I've heard so much about the Paris Metro and um, we're about to do that now. Look at the train. It's much different from uh, the trains of Chicago. It looks um, kind of a pink little train. It's cute. So here's another ad with a little cute thing pulling on the human. Um, I don't know what this ad is for. They have one with the teddy bear and that one with the Barbie doll. It's cute. So we're currently walking down, um, I forgot the name of this area, but it's a really um, traditional kind of style Parisian street. And there's a lot of people out shopping and stuff. I'll show you guys. There's, first of all, there's dogs everywhere in Paris. Um, a lot of small dogs, I'm noticing not a lot of very large dogs like in the US. But there's like food places, Everyone's sitting down having coffee. There's places that you can get your little novelties from. It's just really, really cute. So we're just checking out the scene. Little Sophies, you see these little Sophies? Oh my God, they are pigs. Massive, this place is. This is sick. It makes no sense. I'm like, still trying to figure out why. It goes all the way around. Beautiful from the outside. I can only imagine what the Did hell you, is in the look inside. Look at the architecture. Yeah. The detail. I am blown away. Everything here look is just. Look at the cherubs up top. It's just crazy. I'm going to zoom into this look, guy. Look at these condescending look at that. guys here. <laughs> They're like, look at, look at the second one. He's like, he's like looking down. Right, exactly. Down on you. Can I just say how crazy this is right now? This is so beautiful. I'm like literally standing in the middle of this. 
and this is really cool. <laughs> this is really cool. This is actually, um, Ken just told us that this is the entrance to the museum. That's how you get in. You go into the pyramid and then you go down. Her coat is cute. First of all, the fashion here is sick. Everybody's like super dressed up. Well, the tourists, of course, we're kind of dressed down because that's what we do. But all of the French women are like really fancy. Well, most of them at least. What's up? We're doing some souvenir shopping. I don't know what I don't know what area this is in, but um Thing. I actually uh, support products um, like shea butter, you know, you need it because it's, it's organic, you know, it keeps the fresh, I mean the flesh vibrant and you got to keep looking good, so you know. Where, now where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Flat Stanley's at the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> this is good! Four? We're walking under the Eiffel Tower. Wait. You guys probably can't see me, but we're totally walking, we're totally walking. under the under. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. 